Hello YouTube, this is Xbox Kills here and I am bringing you some more showcasing and tutorials of Cinema 4D. So, in this episode of a tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to um, make f fire in Cinema 4D and smoke, if that is really necessary. Um, but, I wouldn't really say fire and or smoke is actually good in Cinema 4D. There are some plugins that can give you good things, but I haven't even got any plugins. No, I haven't got any plugins yet because I really can't be bothered. If, um, anyone can direct me to some good Cinema 4D plugins. Can you leave a message in the comments? So, without further ado, let's get jump right into this thing. Okay, for so this is not really necessary, but I'm gonna add a floor and sky anyway, just to make it a bit more easy. Now this is gonna be a short video, I think. So yeah, we'll see how it goes though. So first you want pyrocluster. I'll get two of these for both smoke and fire. Get another one. I mean, sorry. Get a pyrocluster volume tracer. Now what you want to do first is go into here and uh, below floor there's environment. Get that and go onto it. Yes, okay. Now drag the pyrocluster tracer, this thing, right, right here. Drag that up to environment and leave it there, okay? Now um, next thing you would want is two emitters. So just get another one and another one, and I would name them smoke and this one oh, fire, because you always want to keep track of what things are, obviously. So um, let's make this a little bit bigger. Three hundred. Three hundred. That never works. Why doesn't that work? I don't know. Who cares? It'll just go here. Oops. Three hundred. Okay. So that's the fire one. Let's go to the smoke and make this one larger as well. Okay, so there we go. Now we have two emitters. And now this is pretty easy part. Just go in here. Um double click on the pyrocluster, one of them. And it is settings, fire. Yes. And it comes up with fire, you can change density, luminosity. That's weird. I'd rather 100%. Let's put. Let's see volume. That's pretty cool. The volume because it's like real fire. So I'm gonna keep that. Density. This one. It makes it look a bit stupid, so I wouldn't suggest it. I want my normal fire back. Where is that? Whoops. Too much. It's a bit more. There we go. Okay, so change density, whatever, whatever you really want to do, and I wouldn't suggest changing colors, but you can if you want, like blue fire. All you do is like go on there, double click on that, and that. Yeah. So now let's go into the smoke. Change this to smoke. Yes. I would put density up because it is pretty pathetic density. Put it down. Maybe ten would be good. 10 density is good. Okay, luminosity. That looks more like steam. I want sort of dark smoke. 32%. That's good. Now, let's get out of this. And drag smoke. Fire onto fire, sorry. And smoke onto smoke. Okay. So if we play obviously it's those little white things again 
and um in my other video all you I thought um sorry I didn't think but all you do to put things up is go show objects that doesn't work for fire and stuff so see doesn't work okay but when you go in here you can render there's your fire and as I said it doesn't really look that great you can see but um, I guess it's the only thing you have if you don't have a plug-in so I guess it's worth it but to make it a little bit better you can go to let's go to fire birthrate editor put that up a lot now there's a lot more fire and now let's birthrate render don't worry about that start a mission don't worry about that or that unless you're doing an animation lifetime that's alright variation let's change that up make it a bit more random lifetime yeah make that a bit random it, like some particles disappear before the others and speed some go slower than the others put that up a hundred rotation I wouldn't really worry about that you can't really notice you don't really notice it sorry and scale um, I would put that up a little. Okay. So that's um that's for the fire I have. So let's have a look at that render. So it looks a little better, a little more like fire. So let's change it up a little bit more just to make it a bit more random, I guess you could say. Where is it? In middle? No? Wait. Oh, wait. Sorry, I need to move this up. Put this up a lot. See if that did anything. No, that didn't do anything. Um. Oh, that didn't really do anything, so. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's go back to particle. There is something in here that changes it. I don't know, but something in here, it like makes some bits go further out and that. I reckon you could find it if you tried. I'll just keep looking for a little. Yeah, I can't find it. I'll might find it in a different video. We'll see. But really, that's it. I wouldn't say the fire is good. I wouldn't say it's bad. Sort of like in the middle there. A bit heading toward the bad side. So, but if it's all you got, I guess it's all you got. So, it's worth it. So, there is the fire. Thank you for watching. I have much more tutorials coming up. Check out my other ones. Um, subscribe, comment, give me feedback. Um, thank you for watching.